As well as using online platforms to post incitement, extremists continue to use a variety of websites and online networks to host instructions on how to make more deadly methods of attack. With attackers in both the Middle East and Europe using explosive devices, law enforcement agencies and governments often rely on private companies to provide intelligence on potential threats. Here we have some samples of uh, different types of powders or pixel improvised explosives. Okay. Some of them are well known, like the triacetone triperoxide. Okay. Take another mechanism like a watch or other type of uh, time delay mechanisms and you have a full bomb you can initiate. In November 2015, a Russian passenger jet was brought down over the Sinai Peninsula in Egypt, killing all 224 people on board. The Islamic State claimed responsibility for the attack, stating they had used an IED hidden inside a soda can to down the plane. From outside, from visual inspection, you will see a normal can, but you can put here inside detonator, the plastic explosives. We have initiator inside. We have charge inside, and it's a bomb. There are hundreds of recipes. We have a bank of uh, about 500 recipes of uh, jihadist forums. Based on that, we can take it down to the laboratory, word by word, actually, make it reality. Terrigence is researching and collecting information from the internet and then providing its customers worldwide intelligence about different terrorist capabilities. In the past, terrorists used closed forums and uh, closed websites. Now we see a growing use of Twitter and a growing use of Facebook. And uh, this allows them to uh, grow much, much wider than in the past. We are in a unique place. We're in a laboratory that does the synthesis of uh, improvised explosives. We do the manufacturing step by step as the terrorist talks and guides his, um, his, his students. All of them are unique explosives that can be manufactured in your home kitchen. And for us, it's very, very interesting and intriguing. Here we are actually cooking okay, the recipes. What we are going to do now is to prepare TTP, an improvised explosive, which was found in past events here in Israel many times, in the car bombs, in suicide belts, in other type of uh, IDs. The recipe was found in a, in a jihadist forum, can be found quite easily. This is the final product, a fine powder. Uh, the peroxides are favorite because it's very easy to prepare them. All the precursors are available, highly available. Anyone with common knowledge and kitchen can do it with his common tools. TATP was used by suicide bombers in Paris in November 2015 and more recently in Brussels, where 32 people died as a result of explosions. These are about 250 milligrams. It's a small effect compared to large IDs, compared to a huge detonation of a few kilos or, or more. You can see it's a very violent and very strong effect here. <laughs> 